Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at a product from IO Merino Wool, and this is their Limitless Bandana. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. So right here in front of you is the IO Merino Limitless Bandana, and it also comes with a little storage sack. You have some shock cord right here. That's a nice addition. Here is the bandana itself. This is the front, and as you can see, it has the IO Merino logo right across the front. When you flip it over to the back side, you can see here that the back is tapered cut. So it's rather short around the back, and then of course, it dips down in the front. On the inside of the product, you can see that the tag is printed on, so you don't have to worry about anything irritating you. Also, all the seams are flat locked, so you're not gonna notice them either. As you can see here, we're zoomed in on the fabric, and you can see that it's covered in husky hair. What do you do when you own a husky, right? Anyways, this material here is what Io Merino Wool calls their Enigma fabric, and it's 96% Australian Merino Wool with 4% elastin. It is 18.5 micron soft and lightweight micro wool. And with this bandana, it comes in two sizes. You have small to medium, and you have medium to large. When it comes to weight, you are looking at 1.6 ounces, so it's very lightweight indeed. It's also pretty functional as well. That is why they call it the limitless bandana. For one, you can wear it as a scarf, as a neck tube, just to block the wind from hitting your neck. You can tuck this inside of your jacket, whatever you wanna do, just like that. You can wear it as a mask. Block the wind from hitting your face. You can even wear it as a toboggan as a hat. And basically what you do there is just turn it upside down so that the tapered point goes backwards. So it goes behind your head. Simply tuck it in like that and right there you have a toboggan, you have a hat, you're ready to rock and roll. Now we've already gone over most of the stats, so let's go ahead and touch on price. The price for this bandana right here is $30. And I have to say that I find this fairly expensive, even though that it is Australian Merino wool. $30 for that much fabric, in my book, is quite a bit of money. There's other brands out there who make Merino scarves, that make Merino masks just like this, that are quite a bit cheaper. Also, if you don't mind going with another product other than wool, you could find bandanas, masks that are much, much cheaper. So in my book, that is a negative. But before we go to the negatives, let's really talk about the pros. And one thing, this thing performs very, very well. I have been wearing this for months now, from conditions from 30 all the way down to two degrees Fahrenheit with winds rocking about 40 miles an hour. So you're looking at sub-zero wind chills and this thing has done a fantastic job. Usually I'll have my toboggan on and I'll pull this over my ears like that and over my mouth and I can stay nice and warm. It really does a good job of blocking the wind, not only on your face, but on your ears, on your neck. When you're walking around and you're really breathing hard and you have this over your mouth and it's really cold, this thing will absorb some water, and I've noticed that it does freeze when it gets really, really cold, but it warms up very, very quickly. It also stays warm when wet, which is very important. The next pro is that this is very, very compact. You can easily take this off when you don't need it. You can fold that up, stick it in your pocket. You're not gonna notice it. That is definitely a plus. So yes, it's got a lot going for it. Now going to the negatives, again, we have to come back to that price point. With this being very thin merino wool, and it's rocking $30, there's other products out there, other bandanas made from wool that are the same price but for thicker material, or for the same thickness that costs less money. Icebreakers has one that's very, very similar to this, the same sort of thickness, and it runs about $20 to $24 depending on where you look. And they also have a thicker version which runs $29, which is the same price as this. So when it comes to my review for the Limitless Bandana, I'm sure you're wondering, would Luke buy one himself? 
And that is a very good question. Now, personally, I don't like to spend more than $15 for a bandana. I mean, they're all basically the same sort of versatility as this right here. So, I mean, 15 to 20 bucks, 20 bucks being about the max that I'm willing to spend. Yes, I love merino wool, but if you're crafty, you can find them much cheaper than this. You can even make your own for much, much cheaper and get similar performance. Now, like I said, this thing really does perform well. And if you're not willing to make your own or go with another material, you, you could definitely do much worse than this bandana right here. And I, like I said, it performs great. I like it a great deal, but I'm not sure if I would personally spend $30 for this. You could easily find a merino wool shirt that's very thin, used, and you can cut the arm off and make something very similar to this if you wanted to. So my friends, for our look at the IO Merino Wool Limitless Bandana, that's pretty much it. I do want to say thank you very much to IO Merino for sending this in for review. It's a great product, but sadly the price is just a little bit high. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well.